Yo boys, it's Iconic here. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, guys, I've got you with the top three best ways slash methods on how to get XP in Season 2 fast and efficiently. Before we jump into today's video, could you guys please smash that sub subscribe button as we are nearly at 500 subscribers, as I'd love, to, love it if we could hit that. And also drop me a like on the video if you do enjoy. Also down below we've got the Discord. Do join the Discord if you do need help with any new glitches with the new skin or anything like that. So do head down below and have a look. Anyway, let's jump straight into the video. So starting off with number one, I'm going to recommend you guys actually do launch yourself into a, into a DMZ game. People don't actually realise, but a, a lot of XP is actually made in DMZ. But you can do a lot of contracts in DMZ and you can do a lot of killing bots in DMZ. Killing bots can be quite difficult, but I do recommend... <clears throat> when killing bots in DMZ to run in with a team with your run in, make sure you go in with a team because then when you go in with a team you've got a longer chance of surviving as there is a glitch in the game and I have posted it on my YouTube channel that you can do the revive pistol glitch when doing this this is where you could run into DMZ solo and you can play it solo because if you have loads of self reses revive pistols you'll be able to self res up unlimitedly amount of times so you're not going to have to worry about launching in with a team I do think DMZ is an excellent way of getting XP. You could, it's not just playing the game if you talk about it in depth and talk it like this. Because obviously, yes, you can kill as many bots as you like and make tons of XP like that. But you can do contracts in DMZ. You can do loads of different things. You can do all these things. And this will level up you like loads. I was playing yesterday and I just launched literally a 10 minute game and it gave me 20k XP and I literally all I did was loot a few weapons and probably kill about 30 bots so it's simple XP easy XP and I do recommend you guys do give it a go number two I'm going to talk about infected infected has only just been brought into the game for season two and it is an excellent game mode and I remember playing it back in the day on like black ops 2 and all the classic call of duties and I'm so happy that they've actually brought it back because it's such a fun game mode to enjoy and have fun the reason why I wanted to talk about infected is because I feel like infected is literally one of the best ways to get XP because on this game how the XP system works it's not actually about the amount of kills you get is about how many games you actually play and we've played with infected in the game infected takes about some like averagely probably about four minutes to finish a game it doesn't take very long so if you play loads of these you're going to be gaining loads of xp especially if you actually want to like get the knife gold if you don't have it gold you you run the knife gold in it or it gives you random weapons anyway so you're going to get loads of xp not just for your actual weapons but also for your rank mainly for your rank this will be and also for your tiers so it's going to give you two tier tokens as well so i do strongly recommend jumping into affected and it's also fun it's not like it's boring so you can get a lot out of it so i do definitely definitely recommend that anyway we're going to head on to the last and final one this is going to be just jumping into quick play, quick play multiplayer. But when you jump into quick play multiplayer, you want to be targeting these certain game modes. You want to be targeting hard point, kill confirmed, and domination. These effective, I mean, objective game modes are the game modes that are going to give you the most XP. I have spoken about in the past in my recent videos, but jumping into hard point, for example, t I'll tell you why it gives you the most XP. Because there's a lot going on and there's the hard points and the hard points are giving you like XP. I do recommend, I strongly recommend indeed, chucking decoy grenades onto your loadout. Chucking decoy grenades, launching them around the map. Basically doing that. Every time an enemy dies near the decoy or your teammate gets a kill where the decoy is or even you do, you're going to gain loads of XP. This will be better in a hard point because a lot of people head to the heart, head over to the hard point. So you going over there and throwing your decoy grenade is going to give you like 500 plus XP just from one decoy grenade. And think about how many times you could do this in a game. Loads of times. Yes, this method has been spoken about in the past, and but people are forgetting it. So I wanted to put this out here and tell you guys exactly why this method is still working. I've done this all the way from the start and I got all my guns maxed out from this method. It is a very, very, very good method to do and it still works perfectly fine. I do recommend chucking on a double XP token if you do have any. 
If you don't, that's not a problem. Just try and rank up with my previous method to launch rank up in the battle pass and you'll get double XP tokens. So you will be able to throw them on with this. As well as kill confirmed. Kill confirmed is a very, very good objective mode for this method as well. Because every time you pick up a tag, you do actually get about 150 XP. As well as a kill on top of that, you're getting 100. That's 250 already. With decoy grenades, you're going to be getting loads of like 150 plus each time. And you're also going to have that all added up. So that is going to total of about 600 XP just like that for your weapon. This is mainly for your actual weapon rank. Um, it will go towards obviously your rank and obviously help towards the battle pass, but it's mainly for your actual gun. So <clears throat> doing that is going to give you tons of XP, but also here's another little thing you can actually do, a little trick. Every time you do actually die, it will drop a blue tag. Please make sure you go and pick up that blue tag because this will actually give you loads of loads of XP and you're going to get tons from this. So I do recommend doing that. <clears throat> and yeah, but I do hope you guys did enjoy this video of me going over three of the best steps I have done for in the past what have got me my guns maxed out and me max rank and max rank in the battle pass. I do hope that you did enjoy this video. Please comment if you did enjoy and let me know. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.